I made a fashion you choice look today. Like Anthony a little and bit. And I'm committed. Pillow talk. I put this on and I just immediately started doing like heavy metal. Welcome to Pillow Talk. For those tuning in this <laughs> week uh, and tuned in last week, this is a continuation. And you know what? We filmed this on the same day. Uh, okay? Shoot us. Whatever. Sarah's still <laughs> high on her espresso. <laughs> Why don't you join? You do the drums. Do the... No, I didn't have... Drums. I didn't Just have half a, an espresso, Do a drum Sarah. sound. No, a rock drum beat. No. Let's get it. <laughs> I am not entertaining you. I really would rather not. Let's do it. I can, won't put it in if it's silly. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. what our heavy metal rock band name would be. Like Pussy Cavern. <laughs> Cavern. Satan's Pussy. Satan's Pussy. It's something like that. That's good. Leave it in the comments. What we're here for. Uh, last week we did our favorite LGBT films, top yes. 10. This week, what's better than the absolute worst? But the absolute best. What? I said, what's better but the, I don't know. We're doing the absolute worst LGBT movies we've ever seen in our lives. Some of you might not agree with these. It doesn't matter. It's our opinion. These are not facts. <laughs> we hate these movies. You don't have to hate these movies. We will judge you if you love these movies, though. So. That's it. And I'm gonna start this list off with probably the worst LGBT movie I've ever seen uh -huh. in my life, and it's Below Her Mouth. Uh, you don't think that's the worst? The worst ever? No, I do not girl trash. We'll get there. <laughs> and if you want to know why we think that, go over to Girlship TV and watch our Drunk Lesbians Watch episode with mm -hmm. Amanda. We call it everything but her brain. Link in the description. Go watch that video. It's great if you're looking for a porno. It's terrible if you're looking for anything with character development or plot. Anything other than... Or representation of lesbians. You know what? The song we were singing at the beginning of this episode is better than every song <laughs> that's in Girl Trash. Don't they have a song in the movie called Don't Shit on My Dreams. It's just my fantasy. It's just my fantasy. What? I don't even understand what that's about. Dreams and fantasies are different. And like, they're singing it. Also, why is Tasha from the L Word like a hard gangster? She's such a hard gangster in it. And then With, like, a the golf club. Doesn't like, she have, like, a nine iron or something? <laughs> Lesbian. So here's the thing with Girl Trash, though, which is why I don't think it's worse than Below Her Mouth. Because Girl Trash isn't trying to be some, like, artsy film. It's supposed to be trash. It's called Girl Trash, okay? They know what it is. It's just a silly, fun, terrible movie with, <laughs> like, some C-list lesbian celebrities. I'll tell you why I hate Saving Amy, okay? Mm -hmm. Amy starts as a lesbian. Amy meets Ben Affleck. Ew. Ben Affleck oh. tries to get Amy. Amy's like, no, I'm a lesbian. End of movie, Amy ends up with Ben Affleck. Yeah. We do not entertain men. It's the teacher-student relationship movies, and uh -huh. it's Loving Annabelle and Bloomington. Do they, they both end <clears throat> not happily, right? They don't end No, up she goes to jail, okay? Oh, <laughs> it is a high school romance. The whole thing is honestly awkward to me. They're I'm just like, I awkward. didn't want them to get together because I'm like, uh -huh. no, no, you're you're too old. And but you know Simone. what? Simone. <laughs> I'm into the age gap. Lesbians are into the age gap, but it's super awkward. In it's movies. too awkward. And you know, when I was younger, when I was like a baby dyke, I watched Bloomington and I was like 
so into it. Because well, the women are hot, too. Well, yeah, I mean, because I was like, oh my god, if only one of my teachers. But it's, it's better because it's college, but yeah, then yeah, also yeah. the characters look so similar that it's like mother-daughter, and then it just takes a whole it's other weird. turn. No. They have a really weird relationship. No, see, there. I don't think it's like that. It is. She's like, if you, you probably don't remember it. It's like almost like no, a mother-daughter relationship. That's it's weird disgusting. age. That's why it's one of the worst movies, Sarah! Okay, I'm not saying. Okay, fix that. Sun yeah. came out. Jetty's wedding. If you want a movie with two characters that have no chemistry, they don't touch Did each they other. Kiss once, maybe? One time, and it's a peck. And uh, a movie where everyone loves talking about Jenny's sexuality. Watch Jenny's wedding. It's <laughs> so weird. But a gay person didn't write it. Or and you can tell. Yeah. You can tell no one gay was consulted. And it's so interesting because Alexis Bledel plays Kitty, which, okay, clue fucking one, plays Kitty, who's a lesbian, mm -hmm. and I'm like, she's not playing a believable lesbian, but then it's not Alexis Bledel because in Handmaid's Tale, she plays a believable lesbian. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. It's probably one of the most offensive um, movies for the gay community. Like, maybe they should have realized that they actually had feelings for each other. I now pronounce you by curiously Chuck and Larry. I don't even need to talk about that movie. It's like a, a big Hollywood movie. I just like, missed the mark. You know, I get it. Their names are Chuck and Larry. They're straight. <laughs> this movie I watched <laughs> on my very first date ever. What? With a lady. No, you didn't. I did. I um, probably would never have dated a woman if I this like no spoilers, but she like jumps off a roof with a bird. Everyone knows it's she absolutely ridiculous. Piper Parabu, who also was in one of our favorite movies, Imagine Me and You, is in Lost and Delirious, she's, and she's terrifying. She's yeah. very intense. She's she really is, into Shakespeare. Uh huh. Lesbians though. It's a um, we love intensely, and it's just so funny to watch it now because like back. Then when we were baby dykes and growing up, like we just loved straight girls and straight girls broke our hearts. But like nowadays, mm -hmm. straight girls want us. The tables have turned, my friends. And as a girl who doesn't kiss a lot of people, I'm into that, okay? <laughs> Those were our least favorite lesbian and LGBT. It was only one gay movie. I don't watch like bad gay movies because I'm like, why would I do that? I'd rather just watch a bad lesbian movie. Right, because Because at least there's lesbians in it. Do you know what I also hate when people love it? I don't care. I'll say it. I didn't like Kiss Me, okay? It's like, <laughs> we watched it and we were Did like- Did we finish it? I don't know. Maybe we didn't finish it. I wasn't into it. It wasn't, it's not, it didn't make the list. It's not the worst, but it's not one of my favorites. Also leave in the comments if you have any just terrible movies to add to the list. Are you doing a little finger thing? This is how lesbian Corey sex. Corey Adriana. Isn't it? Never sexed a woman in her life. <laughs> Maybe if you have Pretty two, much. two ladies at once. This is how we do it. Wow. Wow. This is how we do it. I've watched a lot of Blow Her Mouth and I'm pretty sure this is what they do. <laughs> is her elbow licking in Below Her Mouth? I don't know. Your elbow was there. So you just took the opportunity. That's it. It's really dry. We just <laughs> no, it's how dare you say that, well, Sarah. It's not dry I now. Lie. How dare you lie is not dry. Not so bad, was it? Salty. Okay, we're ending this pillow talk. And we're not the judge of what you like or don't like, so watch Nobody Famous. It's now available on VOD, and let us know what you think. The link is in the description. Alright guys, thank you for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you next Monday, okay? Alright? Goodbye. <laughs>